Good morning guys, hope you're having a good day so far. So as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we are installing a axe mount on the front runner Slimeline 2, as well as looking at the oil that has accumulated in the JLT oil separator. The oil separator has about 2,000 miles on it. Last time you saw it, it had about 1,000. I didn't clean the oil out of it, so it will be um, accommodated for oil that has occurred since then. So about 2,000 miles total. I will also be showing you how I installed a lock on the axe mount just because I live in New Mexico and people aren't the friendliest and they like to take things that aren't theirs. So I wanted to put a lock on an axe because if someone gets an axe, they could possibly do some harm or pawn it or something, I don't know. So I'm gonna tell you how I installed a lock onto this bad boy and the oil in the separator. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So here's the axe fully installed. How you install it is, as you can see, there's two bolts right there. There's two bolts right there. And then there's a bolt underneath for the, for the handle part. All you need is a five millimeter Allen wrench. It'll fit right in and then you can adjust it however you want. Um, it does slide throughout the rails because there are nuts at the bottom of it. So it can stay intact as you move it along. But this is how I have the axe positioned on my rack. And just in case you want to figure out how far away to put the brackets, this is a normal sized axe. It's about 34 inches and the axe mounts are going to be about 34 and a half inches apart from the end on this bracket to the end on the handle bracket. Alrighty guys, so this is what the mount looks like without an axe on it. All you need is this thing, which is supplied, threads right on there, and then there's a little hole and a rod, and then you put a little cable lock in there, and then you're good to go. However, I live in New Mexico, and people would cut that in a second just to get an axe. So I had to modify my mount a little bit to fit the axe and a lock. So starting off, I did absolutely nothing to this side. Um, the mount is just gonna mount with eyeball. So moving over here, this hole was already here. So I went ahead and I put a bolt with a locking nut so that way I actually need some tools to take it apart. Um, this isn't coming off without the right tools. Underneath that, I drilled a hole because just with this, you can slip the axe underneath and that wouldn't do me any good. So I had to drill a hole right here which is actually where the base of the axe is. It's about right in the middle of the handle. So I drilled a hole right there so that way you can't get it out. How I ended up drilling this hole is I first, of course, started it off with, I poked it, poked it a little bit to make a little divot in the middle. Sorry, it's easier to put the drill bit in. And then I used a 730 seconds drill bit. And then I kind of just went balls to the wall. And I used a 13, what is this one? 13, 30 seconds drill bit. And of course use WD, any type of lubricant to make sure the metal doesn't warp and it stays cool. Um, just drilled this right through. It did take a little bit longer than the normal, but I was also working with this normal size drill. Um, but 13, 30 seconds is the size of the hole to fit the lock that I used. I really don't have the number, but it's just a master lock. It's a pretty decent size, fits right in. I could have used a smaller drill bit, but wanted to give a little bit of lead so this is how it goes on now that i showed you how this is mounted a little bit i'm leaving the locking nut in there um, i'm going to show you how the axe slides in and then mounts to the rack here's the axe just normal 34. it's going to slide in between these two holders you can adjust these holders if you want to i have you set how it came and then it's going to slide all the way through Go under the under the bolt, then it'll sit down. The hole in the handle that lines up with the rod, and then it gets threaded on. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna take. I have the eye bolt off. I'm just gonna leave this. If this were a cable lock, you would just need some lock cutters or even maybe just some wire cutters. Cut that off. This slides right off. Tilt it up a little bit, and then. As you can see, it slides right out. Now, I don't want to have any troubles here in Albuquerque with someone taking my axe. So, I'm gonna leave it like that. Lock goes right there. As you can 
be. And now, if you were to try to take it, you physically cannot unless you cut the lock. I mean, if you try to move the lock out of the way, it's not even close to coming out, which is exactly why I have lock. So I don't want someone taking the ax and either hurting someone or actually just stealing it in general because it was a gift and I want to keep it as long as I can. This is how the lock works. This is kind of just, this is kind of just set on there. But this is how I have it set. So about right in the middle of the ax itself, the locking nut and bolt actually help a lot because you have to maneuver it downward and the ax is in the way, or the lock is in the way. So that's how you lock your ax to your truck for maybe $15. Ta-da! So now that you've seen how the ax gets mounted on and it gets locked, how I know one takes it, let's go ahead up front and look at the oil separator. Cold air intake. Let's see, after 2,000 miles. It's quite a bit. Wow. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but after 2,000 miles, not so much oil has been separated out of the oil separator. So now I think I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in, of course, a more logical spot and a safe spot, and then I'll go ahead and throw it back on there. So 2,000 miles gives you this much oil, which is actually honestly really crazy. I didn't really think there was gonna be this much oil in the separator, but alas, there is. So it's a good thing that I actually got this, but. Dang. Alrighty guys, so the oil is poured in a safe bucket that is gonna be transported to my local Valvoline eventually, but it's done. And there was quite a bit of oil. I was not I was pretty surprised on how much oil was actually in there. So if you don't have one, get one, cause it could save your engine. That is basically gonna conclude this video. So thank you very much for watching. If you thought it was pretty cool, Give it a thumbs up. If you have an oil separator, let me know down below how much oil you've actually accumulated inside of that thing. Cause I thought mine was a lot, but it could be a little bit. I really don't know after 2000 miles. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the locking portion of the ax so that way no one takes it. Cause hashtag Berkey. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.